Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The Yonkers Aircraft Factory is back in business. Fired whistleblower pilot reinstated by OSHA. And he also validates new engine for Technam P2010. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's April 4th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Almost a century after the maiden flight of the Yonkers F-13, its historic replica has once again been certificated. 100 years ago, Hugo Yonkers undertook the design and series production of the world's first all-metal airplane, the Yonkers F-13. The airplane proved to be one of the most significant milestones in the history of air travel. Today, Yonkers is pleased to announce two remarkable achievements in the reconstruction of this aircraft type. Program founder and investor Dieter Morzek is proud to announce that after the completion of extensive flight testing, the plane was certified. The all-metal construction of the original F-13 was revolutionary. The construction of the replica required them to relearn long-forgotten construction techniques using corrugated aluminum. Compromises with modern technology were made in as few areas as possible. For example, brakes and hydraulic shock absorbers were added to the landing gear. The search for a reliable power plant resulted in the installation of a 450 horsepower Pratt & Whitney R985 Wasp Jr. radial engine, which is still in use worldwide. Another challenge was the first flight. No pilots with prior F-13 experience remained, who could have informed us about the F-13's flying qualities. However, everything went smoothly, and we were even surprised at the benign handling characteristics of the F-13. Further plans include small-scale production in response to individual market demand. After the break, FCC authorizes SpaceX to provide broadband satellite services. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news spy at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Federal Communications Commission has approved an application by Space Exploration Holdings, doing business at SpaceX, to provide broadband services using satellite technology in the United States and around the world. With this action, the Commission takes another step to increase high-speed broadband availability and competition in the United States. EAA will again deliver the excitement of flight throughout the United States in 2018 as EAA's Spirit of Aviation Mobile Unit, sponsored by the National Air Traffic Controllers Association, visits numerous events this year. The mobile experience introduces EAA to aviation enthusiasts through hands-on, member-tested activities engaging people in aviation. Boeing subsidiary Jeppesen has introduced a new mobile version of its Jeppesen Distribution Manager Flight Data Update Technology and announced a new strategic alliance with Bad Elf, a leading provider of aviation hardware and software solutions. Together, Jeppesen and Bad Elf have now established a wireless data transfer system for aircraft owners and operators using JDM Mobile and the Bad Elf Wombat portable device to update avionics data cards. 
few instructors have renewed their master instructor designation in the month of March. Michael J. Elliott, a three-time Master and SAFE member, renewed his Master CFI accreditation March 1, 2018. Eric J. Shappy, a seven-time Master and SAFE member, renewed his Master CFI accreditation March 15, 2018. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. A pilot fired in 2016 for alleging FAA violations by his employer has been reinstated by OSHA. The pilot had been flying for Jet Logistics Incorporated and New England Life Flight Incorporated, doing business as Boston MedFlight from Hanscom Air Force Base in Bedford, Massachusetts. He was terminated after he contacted the FAA about possible violations of the agency's crew rest rules. He had refused two flight assignments because he believed the schedule did not give him adequate time between flights. OSHA conducted an investigation into the allegations and concluded that he was terminated for reporting safety concerns, prohibited under federal law. The employer was ordered to reinstate the pilot, clear his personal file of any reference to the investigation, and pay the pilot $133,616.09 in back wages and interest, $100,000 in compensatory damages, reasonable attorney fees, and to refrain from retaliation. The employers must also post a notice informing all employees of their whistleblower protections under federal law. Gallen Blanton, OSHA Boston Area Regional Administrator, said the pilot should be commended, not penalized, for raising legitimate safety concerns that can affect him, his co-workers, and the general public. Boston MedFlight is appealing OSHA's decision. After these messages, he also validates new engine for Technam P2010. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. EOS has validated a major enhancement to the Technam P-2010 four-place general aviation aircraft, approving the Lycoming IO-390 C3B6-215HP engine. The Lycoming IO-390 C3B6 enables the P-2010 to climb at 1,100 feet per minute and offer a maximum cruise of 146 knots to airspeed. The IO 390 C3B6 provides 215 horsepower at 2,700 RPM, coupled with a three bladed MT variable pitch propeller. The P2010 in its standard configuration is powered by the renowned 180 horsepower Lycoming IO 360 and has a high fuel capacity of 240 LT, 63.4 US gallons. The P-2010 is the first new single-engine high-wing four-seat aircraft from Technam that brings together an advanced technology all-carbon fiber fuselage with a metal wing and stabulator. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow. 